Well, towards the end of 2023, there were a lot of reports that the mm. Ministry of Justice had uh, passed a new or finalized a new draft law mm. on a, a new commercial court here in Cambodia. Could you explain how that might or might not impact the existing commercial arbitration process? Actually, um, the court that we have right now is mm. a general court. So having three T of municipal court, appeal court, and supreme court, or we call it high court. So this court doing everything, the judges doing everything. So that's why it comes to a point that um, the Ministry of Justice see the importance of the judges or the court to have the specialization. You need to understand like why a business partner or business owner they wants to go to arbitration. First of all, um, the matter is confidential. Like if you go to court. Actually, uh, when there is a declaration of the of the judgment or everything, it should be made in public. Like mm -hmm. the judgment is public, except for certain cases. But for arbitration, the arbitral award is uh, somehow and the process itself somehow confidential. The second thing is the procedure is very based on the party's consent and the flexibility on the how the party chooses it, mm -hmm. with timing and everything. And then the party can choose their own arbitrator that can be specialized in the area that they are having a dispute on. And then if you go to court, you need to really comply by the either civil procedure or the court procedure that you cannot, the party cannot really have much say on it. And then you cannot choose the judge. And the four things is a uh, arbitral award can be enforced across the border. Because like we have the New York conventions and the members of the New York conventions, they need to really having their court system acknowledge the arbitral award from other country being the same member as long as it made through a due process. So after they acknowledge, they recognize, they enforce that arbitral award in that country. So I guess if we have commercial court, um, probably a lot of uh, dispute would consider, especially the local dispute, mm -hmm. would consider go to commercial court back because sometimes arbitration fee is high as well. Mm. And towards the end of 2023, there was also the establishment of the National Authority for Alternative Dispute mm -hmm. Resolution. Could you explain how that differs maybe from the normal commercial arbitration process? So actually, arbitration is part of alternative dispute resolution. Mm -hmm. So in alter if you talk about ADR, alternative dispute re resolution, there is negotiation. I mean, the party negotiate with each other. There is mediation. There is a third party who just come and then trying to mediate the conflict. So right now, mediation becomes quite famous too. In terms of when you have the mediation, usually people, mediator would try to mediate to bring both parties to come to a settlement. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the settlement, it's a shake hand process and then the business can go to can go along. But recently, NCAC, they have the rule on mediation as well and they have the first list of mediator as well. So it's on the commercial matter. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes back to the establishment of the ADR, which is the Committee on the Alternative Dispute Resolution, it's uh, newly set up by the Ministry of Justice, having a committee, but usually they work on mediation facilitation of the dispute subject to the consents of the party. Okay. So the NCAC, they would just uh, hear the case mm -hmm. that somehow bring to them by the parties of the dispute that have the dispute resolution clause saying that refer the case to them for arbitration. And then they will have their own process and procedure, like their own arbitrator and everything. But for the authority, uh, the National Authority for Alternative Dispute Resolution, they have their own committee. Mm -hmm. And then they hear the case that bring to them too. But they are more, they, they don't do arbitration process. They are more on facilitations on okay. the dispute itself. I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Could you explain why it's beneficial for Cambodia to have that national center here? Um, and also what would be like the benefits to go abroad or to stay here and seek arbitration? First of all, if we have the center here, we give a choice to our business partner to choose the local forum, mm -hmm. which can save costs and certain things as well as to save time. And then the second thing is um, it can be very favorable for the language issue as well. If you have the dispute in Cambodian language, Khmer language, you use your local center, mm -hmm. you can access to the resource that speak the same language. And the other thing as well is we see the benefit of having the arbitration center of our own. Because before, before having the commercial court that we just discussed earlier, 
the general court sometimes could not really understand and tackle the issues well on the commercial dispute. So when we have the commercial arbitration of our own, we give the options to the business owner to, to say, hey, there is another forum beside court that somehow you can control the procedure by yourself, you can do things by your own way, and it can be a confidential um, procedure that I said the benefit of the arbitration. So mm -hmm. they can opt for it as a, another option for them. And furthermore, if you have a very good center that doesn't only serve your local dispute if it becomes very famous like the singapore hong kong arbitration center it can attract international dispute as well well thank you so much for your time today it was a pleasure speaking with you yeah thank you so much thank you this was v2b cambodia's legal update thanks for watching join us next time as we continue to unpack cambodia's laws and regulations